Hello, my name is Manchas Kazaba and I am the creator of the website pianokeyboardguide.com. Welcome to this piano lesson where you learn how to label all the keys of the piano keyboard. I mean all, every single one of them, white keys and black keys. When you look at a piano, what do you see? You see black keys, right? See them? And white keys, living in harmony, like Stevie Wonder said. Ebony and ivory living together in perfect harmony. Why can't we? We need to live in harmony. Anyway, that is not what it's about. It's all about <laughs> identifying the keys of the piano keyboard. So, if you look at a piano keyboard, you will see a pattern of two and three black keys. Do you see this on your piano keyboard? Do you see it on mine? Two, three. Two, three, two, three. Don't worry if it doesn't sound too good, but two, three, two, three, two, three. Do you see that pattern? It is that pattern we will use to label all the keys of the piano. Before set of two black keys, we have the note C. First of all, before I tell you this, let me make you know that the musical alphabet consists of seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is all you need to know. So before a set of two black keys, we have C. As simple as that. Before a set of two black keys, we have C. Anywhere on your piano keyboard. Before set of two black keys, two black keys, C. Immediately before it. Or you could see to the left of it. C. This one happens to be middle C, right in the center. The centermost C. Almost in the center of your piano keyboard. So if you know where C is, you know where D is. D is after C. If you know where D is, you know where E is. Then F. Then G. You go back to A. Because remember we said that it's only seven letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. A. C. This is C. So before C we have B. And before B we have A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? That's how easy it is. Before a set of two black keys, you have C. C, C, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So you now know how to label all the white keys. There's nothing hard to that. Before a set of three black keys, you have F. Three, F. Three, F. F. That sounds like a song. <laughs> Before a set of three black keys, you have F. So after F, what comes after F? Do you know your musical alphabet? It must be G. And what comes after A, B, C? So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Twelve keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As long as you could label these twelve keys, you could label your entire keyboard. Yes, these twelve keys are repeating over and over. So we saw that before a set of two black keys, we have C. And before a set of three black keys, we have F. Easy as that. Next, let's take a look at the black keys. Sharps and flats. We're going to give them two names. Sharp and flat. Each one, we're going to give them two names. They could either be sharp or flat. How do we do this? The one to the right of a key, the black key to the right of a key, We'll call it a sharp. C, C sharp. Right? D, 
D sharp. This is F, so this is F sharp. This is G, so this is G sharp. This is A, so this is what? A sharp. Want to do this again? This is C. What is this? C sharp. This is D. What is this? Hmm? D sharp. This is F. What is this? F sharp. This is G. What is this? G sharp. This is A. What is this? A sharp. As simple as that. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. What is hard about that? Nothing. It's as easy as ABC. <laughs> Or one to three or a b c d e f g the letters of the musical alphabet how about the other note name he said that it could be either sharp or flat if the key is to the left of a key we'll call it a, sh a what 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 will we call it a flat <laughs> i wanted to see whether you were paying attention the black key to the left of a key is a flat. So this is D and this is D flat. E and this is E flat. G and this is G flat. A and this is A flat. B and this is B flat. It's to the right. Do you know where E is? This is E. C, start from C. C, D, E. So if this is E, what is this one? E flat, baby. E flat. If this is A, what is this? A flat. Hmm. So, two names. C sharp and D flat. D sharp and E flat. F sharp and G flat. G sharp and A flat. A sharp and B flat. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the flats once again. This is D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat. Maybe you could just practice this. Just pick a key and call out its note name. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. C sharp, D sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Flats, D flat, 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 D flat. This is actually fun. So if you know these names, these note names, you could follow like Synthesia piano lessons easily. Or if you see note names on a sheet of paper or on your phone or wherever on your computer. You could know and they tell you play E flat, you know it's this. Right? If they tell you play G sharp, you know it's this. Easy as ABC. So you now know how to label all the keys of the piano. My name is Manjus Kazama. One love and all the best. To take your piano playing to the next level, Check out my books at Amazon.com or my courses at Udemy.com. Search for my name, Manchus Kazubon.